Hello Aztecs, welcome to Lesson 9, Creating Your Workout, Part 3. If you got anything from the last lesson, it should be that working out at different repetition ranges gives you different results for strength, size, or endurance. I have come up with a simple repetition range based on averaging out the various ranges that I found. Hopefully, this will help simplify this concept for you. Let's compare a few different repetition ranges so you can see the slight differences. Let's take a look at the top graph first. You can see the trajectory of the chart go up at some point after six repetitions, and you see it start to level out somewhere around 12 repetitions. This is why they tell you to work out between six and 12 repetitions if you're really trying to work for size. Now let's take a look at the bottom graph. You can see that somewhere between four to six repetitions is the last point where you have a green dot. Anything after that, you're not getting an advantage toward working toward strength. The part that's coming up here is the part that's the most difficult to understand. So if you don't get it, just watch it again. Let's start at the top at strength. When working between one and five repetitions for strength, you have to understand that if you can do more than five, the weight is too light. If you can't do at least one, the weight is too heavy. So you're gonna to have to adjust the weight so that you can work between one and five. That's when you get the advantage of strength. Let's move down to the middle and focus on size and hypertrophy. When you're working for size or hypertrophy, you work between six to 12 repetitions. But if you end up doing more than 12 repetitions, obviously the weight was too light, which means you need to add a little more weight. If you can't even get to six repetitions, it means that the weight was too heavy, which means then you need to lighten it up a little bit. You need to adjust for it to work. Now let's move down to endurance. If you're working for endurance, you want to work at at least 13 to 20 repetitions. Sometimes people do even more than 20. But if you find yourself doing a lot more than 20, Obviously the weight was too light and you need to make it a little bit heavier. If you find that you can't even get to 13 repetitions, that means the weight was too heavy. If I haven't made it clear, working for endurance is gonna give you a leaner look for your body. Try to keep it between 12 and 20. That's about the right amount of repetitions. Don't forget to do three to five sets and pay attention to how much rest time you have between the sets. If you just got what I said, you're ready to move on to the next part of the lesson. Let's start to take a look at what your workout plan should look like. Make sure you have something to record it on. It doesn't have to be a piece of paper, it can be your phone. And when you write it down, it's gotta be more than just the muscles you're working. It should not look like this. You should be recording what exercises you're doing on what day. At first, you will only have the exercises, sets, and repetitions you're choosing to do written down. Will you lift for endurance because you want a tone and lean look? Will you focus on muscle size or hypertrophy? Or will you work to make your body stronger and more powerful? You will only be able to record the amount of weight you're lifting as you go through your first week of workouts you should record the amount of weight you are working out with for every exercise. That way, the next time you get back to that exercise, you will know the right amount of weight to use. Remember, if you do more reps than your repetition range, you will need to add some weight. If you didn't meet the amount of repetitions in your range, then take some weight off. Everything depends on you being honest with yourself. Did you push yourself as hard as you were able to? Sometimes it helps to see other people's workouts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you other people's workouts and point out what they're trying to do. Are they working for strength? Are they working for size? Are they working for endurance? I'll point these things out. Let's look at the highlighted portions. Bench press, five sets of four by six. Four by six lets us know that this person is focused on strength. Next, leg curl, five sets of 10 to 12. At this point, this person is focused on hypertrophy for his leg curl. Move down to squat, four sets of eight to 10. Still focused on 
hypertrophy. So as you can see, this person is doing their workout for size and strength. Sometimes you're not doing a workout for repetitions, but you're actually doing a workout for time. In this case with planks, this person is doing five sets of planks at 20 seconds each time. This person is doing four sets of 10. You can see at the very top left where it says training level, you see four sets, and then below that you see 10 four different times. They're also pairing their muscles. On day one, he's doing chest, back, shoulders, and abs. On day two, legs, bicep, tricep, calves, and forearms. And you can see all the exercises that are being done below. When all the sets have the same amount of repetitions, a lot of times people just put it at the top. That's why you're only seeing it at the top and not after every single lift. You can tell by the four sets of 10 throughout that this person is only focused on hypertrophy, in other words, size. It's easy to see that this person's workout is focused on endurance. Three sets of 20 at 55 pounds. Hopefully going over workouts has helped you understand how people set up workouts because you're gonna to have to set up a practice workout yourself as a part of the quiz. See you next time. Don't forget to take the quiz.